Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you the next video tutorial of Angular Movies. In this video tutorial, just I am going to show you a uh, theater. Uh, that part is the theater and you know that uh, the first of all, just I want to create a new theater. So uh, if you want to create a new theater, so uh, first of all, create a model for the theater and you know that uh, how to create a model in Angular by using the export interface and uh, the name of the uh, model that is the create theater DTO and in the create theater DTO you have to create some properties uh, related to the theater like uh, name of the theater and uh, in in this uh, video just in this latter videos just I'm going to add more properties in the theater also add uh, more properties in the movies so uh, here we have just only I want to create it now uh, that's the basic structure of the theater. So uh, now we are going to add a new form and that form is used for both edit as well as uh, the create a new theater. Similarly with the genres, similarly with the uh, actor. So uh, the theater is the same process to create actor as well as the uh, genres. So here we have to create a new form with related to the theater. So uh, in the HTML file, just I want to create a new theater form with the help of the map form field and uh, mat inputs and reactive form also uh, use it here. So now in the TypeScript file, you have to first thing in add that is the model builder and model and the form group. By using the form group, you have to add a new uh, uh, form group uh, in the in that session. So form group constructor private form builder form builder ng on in it void this form uh, this dot form is looking like that so so uh, this uh, the dot form equals to this dot uh, form dot form builder dot group like that okay so everything is nice so you notice that here we have a form with the form builder and the single property that is name and name is required by using the validators. So uh, now we are going to design the theater form by using the map form field, you know. So here we have a form and in the form you have to take form group. So uh, in the form group uh, property uh, binding, we have a form, you know that a form is a form builder with the group. So now just I want to submit the form by using the ng submit or the submit by using that uh, here we have to call save changes method and in the in which we have a mat form field uh, with the appearances outline uh, and name of the theater that is the mat label. So mat label is defined the name of the theater. So after that we have to add a mat input so by using the input field, so input form control name is related to the name and uh, mat, for, mat input like that. So here we have a mat input. Okay, so everything is fine. Now just go for the next one is the mat error. Here we have just defined the mat errors related to the uh, client side errors like name field is required. Now the next one is the mat uh, button. So mat raise button is there, color is primary and a disabled property is also applied on the save button, save changes button. So uh, here we have a uh, disabled property and what is the disabled that is form dot invalid. If it is form is invalid, then uh, it is disabled. Okay. So the next one is to do, the next topic is to target the uh, own save, uh, save changes method. And in the save changes method, you know that just I want to define the console.log as well as output parameter because that property will be called by the um, super form or you can say the parent form that is a create uh, create a theater form as well as edit theater form. So in the first of all, open create theater component.html and in which you, um, we have to add the child form that is app theater form and after adding the theater form you have to call output parameter because just uh, i want to pass the theater form values to the child form when we click on the submit button uh, so click
click the submit button that value will be passed to the create theater form as well as the edit theater form if you want to add uh, some values in the edit form just i want to add it so pass that form um, to the parent to the child so here we have child to the parent but uh, in the edit form just i want to take uh, values um, when the um, form is loaded so uh, on the form is loaded on the edit form just i want to get the values so on that behave just we call parent to the child and uh, on the uh, in this time this time i'm going to add outputs so here we have output parameters uh, output uh, methods output decorator and input decorator just i want to use in the uh, edit form you know that because uh, already done in the actor as well as a uh, genras form so first of all i will uh, i want to create all these forms on the basis of the name property because the movie have the title property and the theater have the title property and the name property you can say the so similar actor genras and everything is uh, considered on the basis of that form so you can do it yourself by using this
now we are going to design a uh, movie form on the basis of the movies so here we have a uh, just i want to uh, just i have done to design theater as well as just i want to design movies so similarly the movies with the related to the theater so in this movie we have uh, we will take a title uh, of the movie description of the movies and many more properties to add it in the reactive form so similarly you can do it with the movie cre create movie form movie form and movie form is related to the create and edit so you can do it the same thing you can do with the movie same thing you can do with the theater so just create a reactive form for both movies as well as theater that is the similar thing okay so you can do it yourself